Hey everyone, Jenny and Mac here from Cruising Maya, and we're back with another episode detailing life aboard our 37-foot sailboat Maya. This episode is part of an ongoing series covering our voyage to Southeast Alaska from our home port of Anacortes, Washington. In the previous video, we had an easy passage through British Columbia's Johnstone Strait before hitting bad weather in our attempt to cross Queen Charlotte Strait. In this video, we continue north through BC's Inside Passage and encounter the trip's worst weather in one of the rainiest places on Earth. Five inches of rain in about three days. So let's jump back into the story. We are in Fury Cove, having completed Cape Caution the previous day. All right, good morning. We just left Fury Cove. We're headed north up the Fitzhugh Sound. We're kind of itching to get to Alaska now that we're through Cape Caution. The weather has set in a bit but winds are pretty light and uh, just a little bit of rain, we're kind of used to that. <laughs> so um, yeah, just making miles north. After 53 miles and 10 hours, we arrived in Shearwater, BC. From our anchorage, we were able to get an updated weather forecast, which showed a major weather system moving into the area in roughly three days. The storm would keep us pinned down at anchor, so wanting to be near civilization for those storm days, we decided to make for the next major town, Prince Rupert. So the following morning, we embarked on what would be our longest travel days to date, two days to cover 176 miles. So we are in Chatham Sound right now and we're racing the clock because of big systems moving in so we're just pushing hard. Yeah, I can't wait to get to Prince Rupert. We haven't been kind of quarantined on the boat here for like the last two weeks. Um, so it'll be nice to fill up the water tanks and then push that last leg to catch can. But it's going to be three days of wind. I think they're forecasting like 30 to 40 knots tomorrow. Yeah, so the choice was either hang back at a kind of a remote anchorage or push on to Prince Rupert. Hopefully we'll have some cell service and some services uh, to wait out the weather. So we're just feeling it, you know, a little bit the day. It's been, it's been our longest day by far. Yeah, we're going in. The sun is, there's a little bit of sun left. I mean, we got a couple hours, uh, but yeah, just feeling it. Looking forward to being into Prince Rupert. Okay, we are just pulling into Prince Rupert and we've done over 100 miles today. We're five miles from the anchorage and we just hit a pretty sizable log. And it's 
So now I am up in the crow's nest. Basically, I'm standing on the dinghy <laughs> and keeping watch for any more logs. It's getting darker, uh, but that log was one we definitely didn't see. When we looked behind us, we didn't see it either. So I, I just caught a glimpse of it when it glanced off of us. So it looked like it was some kind of like sleeper log. It was like just floating just under the surface, which that's something you definitely have to watch out for cruising these waters. I'm super freaking ready to be at the Anchorage. We've been going since 4 a.m. It's now almost 10 p.m. And uh, I'm just looking forward to dropping the hook. It's gonna be nice though, because we're not traveling tomorrow because of the weather. So we're getting just real antsy to be at the Anchorage. So we're just gonna tuck ourselves into this Anchorage. Uh, we got cell service here, which is great. So we're getting some office stuff done. And uh, yeah, we'll just be kicking back and relaxing, waiting for a new uh, weather window to go to catch camp. That night, the storm blew in. All right, so we are here in, at anchor. Give you an idea of what we're working with here. It is a crazy storm. And uh, we are just getting bounced around. I mean, we came in super late last night. Tried to get a spot over there though in his other boat. We just went to the uh, We got a ton of anchor chain, so we're stuck good, not worried about that at all. Uh, but wow, we are you can see you can see the bow just going up and down. So we're we're just kind of dealing with that right now, but it's it's better than being out there. It's all good though, because we got Bacon cooking, sleepy dog, we got a fire going, and yeah, all is well on Maya. After another stormy night at anchor, the following morning we jumped across to Cal Bay Marina in order to wait out the rest of the storm. We ended up staying there three nights and it was really nice to be plugged into shore power for the electric heat, as well as to take our first hot showers since we left Washington over two weeks before. After some good rest at the marina, the storm dissipated enough for us to make the final 50 mile push to Foggy Bay, Alaska. All right, so we are leaving Prince Rupert right now and we wanted to get an official rain gauge on our stay here. You can see we have a total of just under five inches. Five inches of rain in about three days. Uh, unbelievable. I really, I, I cannot even believe how much rain fell. Yeah, Rainy Rupert, true to its name. And right now we're going to sneak out of Prince Rupert via the Venn Passage, which is kind of this, looks like this windy little channel. Uh, but it actually ends up saving us like 14 miles or something uh, on our way to Alaska. So we are going to take that. So after 18 days, 634 nautical miles, 120 engine hours, and two major storms, we officially arrived in Alaska. And no one was happier than Disco, getting to take her first visit to shore since we left Washington. Okay, so that's probably a good place to stop for now. Join us next time as we start exploring Southeast Alaska. First stop, Catch Can, where we explore town as well as do some necessary boat maintenance before exploring Misty Fjord's National Monument. The scenery is breathtaking, so you don't want to miss that. Also, in case you were wondering, here's a quick recap of our costs for our 18 day sprint through British Columbia to get to Alaska via the Inside Passage. Okay, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. It's free and it really helps us out. Plus, now we're just getting to the good stuff. 
That was a f***ing bear! <laughs> what? Oh, and lastly, a reminder that we have an online store at cruisingmaya.com. Special edition Alaska t-shirts available with more items coming in the future. If you want to support us, the best way to do that is by shopping at our store. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you here next time. Cheers.